Diane and Denmark here. Ra, ra, ra. Good morning and I hope you're ready for some more decluttering motivation. If you're wondering where I am this morning, I am down in the basement uh, where, the, where the spiders live actually. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, there's only one, one light bulb in, in this room. It's very bright so, so you'll, you'll just need to make do with, as usual, uh, filming with, with my telephone. This is also uh, the room where I keep uh, Halloween stuff. We'll be talking a wee bit about Halloween in a minute, but, but let's get into it. Uh, the aim of this series is to give you a wee bit of decluttering motivation. I'm telling you what I'm decluttering from week to week, uh, which area I'm working on, uh, what happens to the stuff that I declutter, you know, where it's going. And uh, as always, before we start, make sure that you're dressed to shoes. Uh, I'm very casual today. It's the kids' autumn week holiday here in Denmark. So the kids are off schools, uh, off university. It's actually called uh, Potato Week or Potato Holiday, cut off of failure. And it's not because we're <laughs> going to be eating a lot of potatoes this week, or maybe we will. Uh, it's because in the 1800s, kids would stay off school to help harvest potatoes and, and that's the name we use today. So there you go, a wee bit of uh, fun fact about D Denmark for you. Uh, before you start, make sure that you are dressed as shoes. I'm also wearing my granny's crystals, channeling my granny today. And uh, set a timer. If you're new to decluttering, please, please, please set a timer because uh, hands up if you've been there, done that, you kind of think, oh, right, okay, now I'm going to declutter and you pull everything out of the drawers and the cupboards and about three hours later you're sitting on the floor crying thinking why, why did I start this? So, so just uh, set it for 15 minutes and then you know take a break. So only do as much as you can manage in 15 minutes and then take a break and then you can get on uh, with something else. Uh, and I'm working this week on Fly Lady Zone 3. It's my uh, who go home control journal. Uh, Fly Lady Zone 3 is the bathroom, you know, the main bathroom plus one other room. Your, your one other room, uh, perhaps you want to work on a guest bedroom, garden shed, uh, the garage, uh, help the kids uh, with their rooms. You know, and, and you know what, don't, don't worry about having to be in a certain zone, just declutter. <laughs> just set your timer and, and go declutter something. So um, I'll tell you what I've been de decluttering since last week. Uh, last week we were in the kitchen and there wasn't really much in the kitchen but we, we keep extra kitchen items down here in the basement and uh, some of you have may know uh, my, my son has now got his own apartment and we had been keeping things for him, you know, whether he needed it for his apartment. There were there were a few items he said, no, he, he didn't want those. And now we're handing those on. And I also found this, uh, which is um, salad spinner. It's just taking up too much space. And to be honest, I'm, I'm just as quick using a clean tea towel to spin my, my salad. So that's along with the other kitchen stuff. Uh, that will go to our, we've got a refugee um center uh, quite close to us and, and they take any kind of donations linens uh, towels uh, knickknacks um, household you know wares any of, of those things so I'm, I'm not going to show you them all here but that's kitchen stuff uh, oh there were there were also um some of my sons uh, you know he had more books and games which we put uh, I, I put them in a, a group and a member of a ladies group and I put them in there and said, you know, if anybody uh, wanted them, you know, we're giving them away for free. And I told you last week there was a lady who came and took lots of books. Well, this week, one of my friends, uh, Gronya, she came to pick up some stuff. Look at that. She, she gave me some uh, pack of tea bags in return. So declutter and you know give things away and look you get nice th things back and, and i'll tell you what some of the items were and i'll see if i can put a picture here they were ice cube trays of uh, lego men and the other one was han solo in the carbonite you know in the ice quite apropos with the ice cubes so um anyway so things that i've gone to uh, my ladies group and down here in the basement, oh, let me show you this first, uh, I was taking a look through some sports equipment that we have, um, sports gear, and we came up with a couple of uh, sports bags that we're not using. I mean, how, how many sports bags do you need? Uh, perhaps your kids have uh, restarted school and they've changed school bag. What about the old school bag? What, what are you doing with it? Can you maybe clean it up and pass it on to somebody else? I've also got... Um, uh, a swimming costume which 
I used uh, when I took part in the World Championships uh, this year. I, I'm, I'm a winter bather and I'm also a winter swimmer. Uh, you know, we swim when it's like uh, around freezing. And this pink flamingo costume, I got this for taking part in a team race. This was our team's uh, costume. Now, I, I got this from somebody else and it doesn't really fit properly. And I could think, oh, well, I'll hold on to it because that was when I participated in the World Championships. No, I've got other, you know, things from the World Championships, you know, little, uh, you know, memento and a certificate. And I made a YouTube video about it, sort of, which I always have. So, so this one is going. So, uh, you know, perhaps you've got some sports equipment, sports gear. Maybe your kids uh, tried a new sport. You bought all the equipment and, you know, they, they've moved on to something else. Let, let's get that equipment and, and pass it on to somebody else. Uh, Halloween. Halloween is uh, soon coming up. Now Halloween for us is going to look very different this year. We'll have some um, we'll have some decorations out. I, I did a declutter of Halloween decorations last year. I'll see if I can put the video up here. Uh, but maybe you're still in that mindset of you know oh it's Halloween so you buy like t 10 kilos of uh, sweets or candy. For us this year, there's not going to be anybody knocking on our door. So I've got, you know, some Halloween sweets, but only what we are going to eat, uh, basically, ourselves. Think, think about that before you're kind of, you know, in that mindset of, you know, it's Halloween, so we buy that. Think about it. Will, will that just end up as clutter? You know, after Halloween, will you be thinking, you know, well, what am I going to do with this stuff? So also the decluttering process is about you know, stopping things from coming into your house, uh, just being aware of, of what you've got in, in all your boxes and your uh, your cupboards. What about costumes? Uh, we have a, a box here of, of dressing up stuff. And for those of you who know Doctor Who, you know what these are. Uh, we're, we're not keeping these. We're, we've kept our Daleks and all the fun things like that. But these are going um, what about your kids' costumes? Have they grown out of them? Can you pass them on to somebody else? And any kind of little toys that come your way. Uh, we, we've got a few, few uh, kind of free sets with things. And, uh, you know, if you're not going to use them, away, and by the way, never declutter Lego. We've got big tubs of Lego, but they, these are just small uh, sets that came with I don't even know what. Um, if, you're, if you're not going to use the games and toys, please pass them on to you know local charity shop we have quite a lot of um places where you can do a kind of public swap thing they're, they're open um and you can just come and put, th put things there and then have a look on the shelves and then take something uh in return so you know think about toys and games books anything that the kids are no longer playing with or costumes and I've said to you that I declutter on a daily basis. So, you know, if I see something in, you know, when I'm putting away laundry or uh, choosing my outfit for the next day, if I see something that I'm not using or loving anymore, I, I, I try and pass it on. And here's a couple of um, things for you. I decluttered some earrings. I'll put a picture there. Uh, I also swapped a scarf uh, with my bestie, uh, Vibica. We swapped scarves because she liked my one and I liked her one we said oh I'll tell you what <laughs> let's swap and some of you may recognize this necklace this is one that I got a clothes swap two or three years ago I think now uh, from a friend uh, it belonged to my friend Margaret Margaret is uh, now back in Ohio hello Margaret uh, and I'm not wearing it anymore so that will uh, go on and somebody else will love it and use it and my now these belong to also like my, my crystals uh, to my granny these are my granny's um hankies and you know are, are you holding on to things thinking oh or, or maybe you've just got them lying at the back of a cupboard you know i i and i'm not worried about something happening to these i'm going to start using them and you know think about my granny and it's not the only memory i have of my granny i've got plenty of good memories from my granny so you know if, if there's something that you can use or maybe you can get it displayed uh, that's that's great but you know don't don't have have things just kind of uh, getting crushed in, in the bottom of a box because you're hanging on to it just just because oh and one more thing that i have uh, decluttered this week our cooking apple tree has been dropping uh, apples uh, by the dozen so I have given away bags and bags 
of uh, apples to friends at any time somebody's coming by to pick up something I put a, um, a bag of apples as well so um, you know maybe you've got a lot of produce uh, you know I don't know plums pears whatever it is uh, or eggs that you can't use from your chickens Let, let's just pass it on to somebody who, who can use it uh, and enjoy it. So on that note, I'm going to get back to my decluttering, get back to the family, get back to uh, potato week, and um, I'll just grab my pom poms and give you a wee rah 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 to send you in there anyway. So anyway, uh, live long and prosper. May the decluttering hook be with you, and I'll see you very soon. Are you ready? Okay, rah rah rah. <laughs>